Welcome to Tassie's Football Fix for another week. I'm Damien Gill from FFT, and as always, I'm joined by Ladders from the Mercury to talk through a huge week of the Victory League. Well, Ladders, just when you think you've got the mm. Victory League picked, you have a round like round six, and it turns everything on its head. Yeah, definitely, mate. Obviously, Kimber Lions getting up over the Zebras 3-2 on Saturday. Huge upset. Joel uh, Schuth got up, uh, scored in the 11th minute on his... Uh, Signing for the Lions from the Knights. He returned to the, his uh, former club of last year during the week. Then uh, Alex Zinski and Adam McEwen picked up two goals in the second half to put the Zebras ahead as they looked to settle. But then Josh Fielding uh, netted an own goal, unfortunately, for the Zebras. And it was 2 all before Sun Yong Jin scored in the 90th minute to put the Lions ahead for the eventual winner. Yeah, huge upset that one, turning around what was a, a disastrous performance last week. They yeah. lost 7-0 to the same team. It's unheard of to turn that around. Yeah. Um, and Rowan <laughs> Gillum, the young keeper, really pulling out a top yeah. draw save right at the end just to make sure of the three points. Yeah, definitely. And in the second game of the round, the upsets kept coming. Um, Glenorchy Knights broke their drought and went up to uh, Mitsubishi Park and mm. took the points away from Lonnie City. Yeah, mate, I had Launceston tipped. You tipped the Knights. I thought for sure they'd get up over them that one. But 6-2 winners, uh, Jaden Hay and Callan Griffin putting them ahead in the first half before a brace from uh, Harry Woolley ended up being the eventual uh, game-breaker for the Knights as they took away the points with a 6-2 win. Yeah, and a couple of red cards to finish for Lonnie City, so not the result they would have liked, uh, but uh, good one for the Knights. Yeah, their first of the season, mate. And in the third game of the round, another upset. Devonport prevailed over uh, Rangers in a thriller at Valley Road. Uh, they edged ahead early, yeah. but uh, the Rangers weren't done. Yeah, they took a four-goal lead into the 55th minute before Shane Brassington and Adam Edwards paired up to score three goals between them in the last half an hour of the game to make for an early finish. But I was happy with the strikers' win, obviously keeping up their name at Valley Road, their fortress, and I tipped them, mate. I know you tipped the Rangers, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, it's a, a tight one indeed, um, and a good northern rivalry there. Mm. Uh, the last game of the round, the mm. only one that wasn't an upset, yeah. Lutters, uh, South Hobart, too good yeah. down at uh, Warrior Park. Yeah, if Olympia got up over them in that one, that would have been definitely a round full of upsets. But a fantastic result for South Hobart at Warrior Park. Obviously, Andy Brennan scoring early, Braden Mann getting a fantastic free kick. Alex Ralph was sent off in the 35th minute for Olympia, so that was really the game breaker. 2-0 up, they went down to 10 men. They really struggled to create the chances. Then Nick Morton uh, iced the cake in the 90th minute from an Andy Brennan cutback for 3-0. Yeah, he did indeed, and the Warriors just struggled to break down that uh, strong South Hobart defence. Yeah, definitely, mate. And now it's all South Hobart go three points clear of the Rangers, who, who remain in second to spot their loss, and uh, Olympia in third, also on 12 points. But Zebras now slip off the pace of South, Ho South Hobart, six points behind in fourth. Makes it pretty tough, doesn't mm, it, Ladders? Yeah, definitely, mate. Struggle Street. We look ahead to round seven now. It's multicultural round mm. this week. Uh, it, it kicks off on Friday night with Glenorchy Knights taking on Tilford Zebras at 8pm at KG5. Of course, they both share the mm. home ground, so it's usually <laughs> a bit of a rivalry. Yeah. Um, and given recent results, mm. there's a fair bit of intrigue in this one. Yeah, definitely, mate. Obviously, uh, Zebras went down to Launceston, who the Knights beat last week, so it could be interesting, but I honestly think that Zebras will get uh, back to winning ways with this one. They couldn't make it three losses from three games. Yeah, I think uh, Zebra's too strong, but I'd hate to think what it's <laughs> going to be like if they fall to the uh, three bottom teams in three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they'll be G'd up for this one, make sure they get up. Yeah. Um, in uh, the next game of the round, it's a multicultural double header. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some fantastic... Uh, Cuisine down at KG5 and some entertainment going on, but the matches themselves are 2 p.m. The Kingborough Lions host uh, mm. Devonport at KG5. Yeah, man, that's going to be a huge fixture. If you remember last year, it was 5 4 win for <coughs> Kingborough. They were 4 2 down in like the 80th minute. It was an incredible comeback. They scored a few goals uh, late in the game but I'm going to go with Devonport for their first win on the road this season. Yeah, the Strikers have run three at home, and mm. I agree with you. I think this will be their first on the road yep. up against the Lions outfit that would be really happy after last week's uh, efforts. Yep. The next game in the doubleheader is South Hobart versus Lonnie City. Uh, you'd think South Hobart yeah. are probably too strong in this one, although Lonnie City will take some confidence from their uh, mm. recent display up against South Hobart in the mm. Lacquer Cup. Yeah, obviously they went down 3-0, I believe, to South Hobart in the, in the Statewide Cup. 
But 23 goals conceded against the champions last season is just too much of a stat for me, mate. I'm going to go with South Hobart for this one. Yeah, they'll have nightmares of last season <laughs> up against South Hobart. I reckon they'll be pretty happy that uh, Costa Canacaris isn't there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, South Hobart too strong for mine. Yep. The last game of the round, 3pm, uh, probably the match of the round, Lutters. It's second versus third. Uh, they're equal on points. Northern Rangers host Olympia mm. up at the NTCA. Yeah, it's going to be a massive game. Obviously, um, Rangers uh, defeating Olympia 3-0 in the Statewide Cup only a few weeks ago. I'm going to go with Olympia for this one, mate. I feel they're going to get their first uh, win over the Rangers in the victory league. Obviously, uh, two wins for the Rangers and a draw last season. Be a close one, but I'm going to go with the Warriors on the road this week. Yeah, the Warriors haven't uh, really liked the Rangers in the no. victory league. Um, so for me, I've got to go the Rangers. So I think they'll be too strong up at their home ground of the NTCA. That's all we've got time for today on Tassie Football Fix. As always, you can get the latest at footballfairtas.com.au. For now, we'll leave you with the best saves and goals proudly brought to you by Gems and Specsavers. Thank you.